tubies, tubiers, tubalicious, stick tubies, tuby tuby, Facebooky tubies everywhere. Um. So yeah, this is this is a video response I felt compelled to do. Um, not only because I I really resonated. Uh, with the woman in this video, but also because uh, it's kind of a question that I get messaged about a lot. And it seems like, um, you know, and I, I have a couple girlfriends that uh, go through the same thing, and I've been through the same thing. So uh, I felt uh, really connected to do a video response to um, this video. And it's pertaining to uh, being spiritual, Wiccan, pagan, and uh, being with somebody who doesn't necessarily respect or believe in the same things that you do. Uh, in a relationship, it can be kind of hard. So I'm going to forewarn you right now that unedited, uncut video is going to probably be long and boring. So we'll see how many dislikers like dislike this one. Um, dislike, dislike, dislike. And uh, yeah, so just bear with me. And this is for, uh, I believe her name's Shalin. It's Shalin Ista Amelia or something. It's a very, very cool name. Um, I'm just going to call her Shay for short. And, um, but yeah, this is a video response to you. And I'm just going to go ahead and start since I got my dialogue out of the way. Um, or intro, whatever. So, yes. Uh, under your circumstance, and if you, before anything, you guys need to watch our video um, so you can get an idea what I'm talking about. And uh, so I don't have to go through the background and repeat what the video is about. But anyway, all right, lady. And this is my honest opinion and the way that I feel um, about being in the circumstance. I have been in, uh, I don't want to say several relationships to make it sound bad, but I've I've had male relationships, friends and not, all my life, um, and, you know, in, in other dating relationships, and all different side of the spectrums. And when you, as a woman, and growing in your spirituality, whether you're just beginning or transforming or whatever you're doing, when women hit a certain age, uh, you, you go through a change. And it's not just the menopausal change that we go through when we hit all that. Uh, it's, it's a different growing up change. And, you know, the first major one, I believe starts when you're about 26 and can last till you're about 28, even up to your 30, depends on how long, um, the process is and how long it takes you to, you know, grasp on to what's going on with yourself and the transformation in itself. In your circumstance, uh, being with somebody who is highly disrespectful, uh, with, with him, with you have putting forth your say, like, Hey, can you respect my space? Um, can you not do this? And, you know, he keeps disregarding your, uh, you know, your wishes and doesn't respect your wishes. Uh, that should be a little red flag right there. You know, the fact that you're not married will really help out the situation a lot. Um, cause changing things up when you're married, can be a little bit more difficult and it takes a little bit more time. Um, but when you're just dating or living with somebody, um, it could still be intense, but basic rules, uh, to try to give you some, a little advice. I'm really sorry that this is scattered. Um, it's just how my brain works because I'm taking bits and pieces of your video and I want to reply to it. Um, God, I should just start this whole thing over. But anyways, First things first, get out all your concerns, you know, really try to communicate with him and um, and let him know what you believe and what you feel. Uh, second, understand and know that men, men just do not work the same way as women. Uh, as a man, when a woman has an issue, you know, not only do they get that, oh, again, like what now? Got to have a major talk. Um, it's all about the approach, and it's all about the way you bring up your issues. Uh, and, and with men, you don't beat around the bush. You have to just say it like it is, flat out. You know, yeah, they might get pissed. Yeah, they might get offended. They may get a little butt hurt. Um, but men 
have their ways of dealing with things that come at them. And, you know, and they all have their own perspective on certain situations. So all in all, you know, present it the best way you can. If, if you have, if you're in a relationship and you can't communicate with your significant other and be absolutely honest and truthful, uh, that's an issue. And you need to figure that out or you need to say, hey, this just isn't going to work in part ways. Um, because you, you can't develop a relationship to where you cannot establish communication. Communication is key. And sometimes it takes a little bit, you know, it takes a little while to, to get on the right level with each other. But... Uh, it can, you can make it happen and it does happen, but, um, you know, sometimes it just takes a little bit of time. Sometimes you just can't get on the same level. And, you know, if that happens with a friend or a family member, what do you do? You don't talk to him anymore or you just, you know, you're allowed to keep a certain distance and pick and choose your battles or conversations and interactions with them. When you're in a relationship, you can't do that. It's one-on-one, -on -one, you go to bed every night, you gotta, you're in each other's space and face all the time. Um, so you have to work that out. And if you can't work it out, time to split ways. Some people just don't mesh. Now, um, when you are in a relationship, First thing, and you're having issues with spirituality, first thing you need to do is question, is this uh, relationship worth making it work? You know, are you, have you been together a long time? Um, is it your best friend? You know, do you have a great relationship outside of just spirituality? I mean, is everything else great? Um, you know, write, write them down pros and cons and, and which battles you do and, and which ones are easy for you to handle and kind of let roll off your back, you know, water on a duck's back, or there's certain things that really, really bother you that you can or cannot seem to fix. Um, and those are things that you need to do. If with what you're saying, and I'm just going to kind of go with what you were saying, you sound like, you know, it's not going to work. Um, you know, and under the circumstances that you guys got together, you know, everything's fun and it's that crazy, awesome atmosphere and laid back and it's cool. It's a lot of fun, but as far as the mundane and being in a redundant cycle of normality, um, you know, it changes things. And sometimes you just can't cope and can't deal with that person. If you've already made up your mind um, and you know, and you already know what you need to do, you don't need anybody to tell you that, you know, things aren't right and it's not going to work. So, you know, having, being scared to leave a relationship is uh, the worst thing you can do for yourself. If you know and in your heart that it, you're just not in it anymore and you're just too scared to take the next step because you don't want to be alone and because you're comfortable, uh, that's not good. You, you will never grow unless you get out of that situation. And you can't blame it on the other person either. You know, it's not the man's fault because they just don't work the way that you want them to. Um, and I'm not trying to say you're controlling or anything like that. Just certain men just don't, you know, like I said, goes the whole meshing thing. Sometimes it just doesn't work. You can't change certain things in certain people. And you can't change certain things about yourself. Uh, so it's good to acknowledge that and say, this is how I am. And be confident in that. And know what makes you happy and what works and what doesn't work. Um, and what doesn't make you happy. Uh to give you a little background, um, probably one of the best things I ever did for myself, uh, you know, I don't like being alone. And um, when I got divorced, I got my own place for the first time in my life. I lived alone. I had a one bedroom apartment and um, it was shortly after I left YouTube for a little bit. And, you know, I was scared, uh, you know, to be alone in an apartment complex and yeah, and, you know, near Atlanta and stuff. It's scary, but um, I did okay, and it actually taught myself um, to to actually get really comfortable in my skin and uh, help me get a little bit more assertive in certain situations. Um, 
you know, when you get to tweak things about yourself, you know, and cleaning up or uh, get to arrange the house however you want. Uh, you can really get in tune with your spirituality, you know, set up your, you know, apartment any way you want. Have all your little trinkets or whatever witchy stuff out, whatever makes you happy. Um, you know, you get to have all that out in, in your place and it's, it's your stuff. Uh, so, you know, maybe you're at a step in your life where you need to take time to do that. Um, you know, kind of explore your own little self. You know, if you're unsure of a relationship and you're still unsure about yourself, it's best to not jump into another relationship. It's best to kind of, um, get a grasp and a hold of yourself and gain that confidence and um, get to a certain level to where you know that you're you're strong your your you know your foundation is strong and you are ready to build on top of it um, you know don't live on the whim and all these what ifs and fantasies and stuff like that now if you decide um, that's best to leave this guy then do what you gotta do and be honest and open and don't hold anything back. Um, you know, be respectable and, um, you know, don't be a bitch about it. You know, just be nice and straightforward and don't beat around a bush. And if you feel like you can make things work, um, then you know what? And, and you don't want to give it up, then don't give it up. Uh, you know, and make certain adjustments to where you guys can live in harmony. You know, when you're in a relationship and the other person isn't into what you're into, that's okay. And what you have to realize is that you can't expect them to like what you like. And it goes both ways. You know, your man might like hunting or fishing or watching bowling or whatever it is that he's into. You may not give two shits about it. But when you act like you care uh, and you seemingly try to take a little bit of interest into it, you know, men appreciate that. Whether you really care or not, they appreciate the effort, just like you do if they give effort um, into taking interest in what you're doing. Uh, sometimes it takes a little while and sometimes you got to be the one to take the first step, be the strongest and, um, you know, make all the moves and set the example and most of the time, men at their own pace will will put in a little extra effort. When they see that you're putting in effort, um, they will put in that extra effort. You know, men are very fickled in a lot of ways. But, um, you know, and, and always take into consideration before you break up a relationship, um, really make sure you do a lot of communicating uh, so there's no stones left unturned. There's no what ifs in your head. You know, there's nothing three months down the road. You're, you know, having regrets because you didn't do this or you didn't do that to try to make it work. Uh, make sure you take care of all that, you know, mark it all off your list. And then always understand too, that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Um, good men are really hard to find these days. And sorry, reality check, there is no such thing as a perfect man. They may be perfect in these different areas, but they're going to lack something in other areas. And that's where it's important for you to understand what you're willing to accept and what you're willing to not accept. You know, what are you willing to sacrifice and go, huh, okay, I can do without this as long as I, you know, have this. This is okay. Um, so really, really deep down, think about what's important to you in a relationship and in a long-term commitment. Um, you know, because not everything's going to be hunky-dory and peachy keen. You know, you will have your changes and to have a man that you can communicate with and try to express your feelings and emotions, it's very important. Um, but there's two sides to every street. You know, Excuse me. You have to. You have to understand that men are their own breed. They're very strong. Uh, they have a lot of pride, and they um, they're very sensitive. 
in a lot of ways. They may not be the crying type sensitive um, or get butt hurt real easy, but they do hold stuff in and things do bother them and they do think about stuff. It's not the way we do like all the time every minute, but they do reflect in their own moments, in their own times, and sometimes it takes men um, a couple days to get back to you with an answer. So if you say your piece and they don't have anything to say right away, it's okay. Don't get mad. Um, give them a couple days and say, hey, do you need a couple days? You know, is this something you want to think on? Is this something that you're going to think on? If they say yes, cool. If they act like, you know, whatever, get me a beer, woman, then, you know, pff, it's a lost cause and it's time to do what you need to do to make things right. Um, God, I have no idea if this is making sense because I'm just, I'm all over the place. And I just want to let you know that, girl, you're not, you're not alone. You're not alone. And um, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel, always. And sometimes being a spiritual person that you are, um, you know, things are very intense and sometimes you are going to go through some rough shit and know that, you know, you can either, you come across a river of shit, okay, and it's nasty and it's gross, but if you can stand crawling through the 10 feet of it, you're done. You're, you're through it and you're over it. You know, yeah, you're going to come out gross on the other side, but you can always wash it off and start all over. You know, or you can choose the path of going all the way around the river to find a bridge, hopefully, one day, if it ever pops up, and take the easy way and cross the bridge and, you know, and, and go that way. But sometimes facing stuff head on and just getting it done and over with is the best thing. You know, reflect on yourself, find out what's important, and do what... Um, do what feels right. What I always emphasize, what feels right. Go with your gut. Go with your intuition. If you need a little guidance and you don't have anybody to talk to, consult your cards. Consult, um, you know, your spirits and guides in your meditation. Um, you know, use divination with the pendulum. Get answers that way. When you have a question like that, you can always use divinations and it'll help. It'll help clear things up in, in, you know, runes and stuff. You'll, you'll know what to do. You'll know what they're saying. And you just got to follow that. Don't go, well, yeah, yeah. Take it, apply it, and embrace it. And it will work its course. And, you know, you'll find that a do another door will open. You'll walk through it. Another door will open. And, by, you know, so on and so forth. Um... But don't get stuck in that Jekyll Hyde of yourself. You know, don't listen to the dark side of yourself. You know, don't rely on your shadow to get you through this hard time. Because uh, sometimes those shadows are deceiving and they will lead you on a more stren strenuous dark path and make things actually even worse. Um, to where you wish you could go back and change things, but you can't. So think things through, you know, and, and if you ever want a message and Skype or chit chat, you know, I'd be, it'd probably be a lot easier and not being a one way conversation. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I hope this helps a little bit. You know, I've been through a lot of different relationships, you know, there, and, and, you know, I understand when you want to, uh, when you're with somebody and they're not into what you're into, um, and that's okay. You know, they can either be a complete, you know, jerk about it, or they just don't really care or pay attention to, you know, there's two different sides of the spectrum and you kind of wish, well, man, I really, I really wish I had somebody who was into everything I was in and believed everything I want to believe. And you, you know, think about collecting stones and trinkets and doing rituals together and all that cool stuff. Yeah. It can be awesome, but it can also be um, extremely intimidating because not only do you uh, not have, you know, normal mundane privacy, it's hard to get privacy as a woman when you're married and have kids and stuff, but when you're with somebody who's as spiritually, um, at the same spiritual level you do, you are, and in as spiritually in tune, it can be very um, draining and invading because 
you can't have those private thoughts. You can't have those private feelings to where you're, you know, being, um, you know, you have your empathy kicking in and you're feeling energies and you're like, mm. you know, when you're in that moment, you're kind of feeling and observing and taking it all in. When you're with somebody who's on the same level, you know, sometimes it could be cool. Like, you know, did you feel that? Oh man. Yeah. Mm -hmm, uh -huh, oh God. And you can get the hell out of there. Or, you know, they can go, what's the matter? What do you, what do you think about? Nothing, nothing. I'm just having a moment. Well, what is it? What, you know, can I help? Oh, well, oh, is it about this and this and this? Cause you feel like this, this and this. No, I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. Well, you know, if it's better if you talk about it, <sighs> it can get overwhelming. And, and like I said, it's very invading. So make sure, you know, you're very balanced in what you want and what you wish for and what you hope things to be. Um, because there's a balance to everything, you know, you you can wish so much for something, but once you get it, you realize you didn't want it that much. Because um, sometimes you get what you wish for. And it's not always that great. But, yeah, God, 20 minutes of rambling and I have no idea if any of this is resonating with you or making any sense. It's a lot of mumbo jumbo. Um, and maybe I could do another video where it's clear cut and concise, but it's kind of hard to talk about stuff like this with you know, other people not putting in their input are going, yeah, and what about this and this and this? Or what about, you know, whatever their complaints are. Just know, flat out, bottom line, bottom line for this video, reflect on what you want, follow your intuition, um, communicate your deepest and innermost thoughts and your wishes that you would like to and always compromise and understand stand that Men are, they're just different. You can't be mad at them. Um, just understand that they think and perceive things different than you do. Um, as a woman, they just do. It's just different. And you can't get mad at them for it. The more you try to understand it, uh, the better and easier it gets to deal with them. Um, you know, same thing, vice versa, men with women. You know, men, the more you battle women, the you know, the worse it gets, the more you try to understand them, whether you do all the way or not, it does make things easier. Um, so just have some compassion and level things out. Don't be scared and do what you got to do, girl. Do what you got to do. and Do what makes you happy. Um, so that's, that's it. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Yes, I know I'm scatterbrained. Yes, I know. I can't talk without my hands. All that good stuff. So, yeah. Cool beans. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.